So, Melissa and Michaela, this is my first video to you guys ever! Woo! Woo! I'm trying to use one of these uh, weirdo effects that you guys did on yours, but it's not working on my computer. And uh, I am sitting here in my living room doing nothing. You can see my holiday tree in the background. Uh, uh, with spring chicken theme. Good stuff. <sighs> so, since you guys, there were two of you for your video, I decided I would bring along my little buddy, Vincent Van Gogh, here. Woo! Since, you know, I'm a big Impressionist fan. Today, during the uh, little spiel of hers about Impressionists, I was freaking out. Um... And I was the only one in the class who really knew who all of them were. Well, isn't that right, Van Gogh? Mm-hmm, yeah. See? It's, I'm completely correct. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I've never done this before. I've never made a video before. I mean, I feel like I should be more excited, but I'm not really excited because I'm making a video by myself. Oh, well. Well, plus you go. Best friends for life. My nose is really dry. It's crazy dry. It is. Like, getting to the point where it's going to start blistering and so dry. Just kidding, that's disgusting. But, it is really dry. And I am not a fan. Ah. Oh well. Such is life. Such is life. And then I go and I like... I'm rubbing my dry nose because it's so dry and itchy, and it kind of looks like I'm picking my nose, I'm sure, to people, and uh, that is not the kind of image I want to portray. Not at all. Not at all. No! I feel like Tabitha would appreciate this just because it's so creepy and weird, but, um, oh well. So, I don't know. I just did my math homework. That was pretty boring. I'm not going to lie. I was thinking that I should start a uh, sort of a video blog series because I cannot begin to tell you how many times I sit around on Sunday afternoons thinking, what am I going to do with my time? And I have nothing to do with my time. And then I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to think about the movies I've seen in my whole life. And my sister told me I should because I've seen quite a few movies. I mean, and my sister never positively suggests, well, Sometimes she gives me positive suggestions, but a lot of times they're just suggestions that she thinks are positive. But I don't know. But so she said that there's this kid in like California who's like seven years old or something, and he has his own podcast about movies. And apparently he says that um, some movies have the bri factor or something like that. He has a really, really stupid sounding name. And he goes around and he's like, Oh, no. No, there. Um, it's not Bry Factor. But that would be good if his name was Brian. His name's Josh, I think. And so he says they're Josh-tastic videos, or movies. And it's just like, <laughs> apparently the kid said, it's like combining my name, Josh, and the word fantastic. And my sister said that it was just the dumbest thing she's ever heard. And she figures if that doofus can have a uh, video blog, Series, then so can I. So I'm going to soon enough become a blog, a vlogger, maybe. I mean, I've seen enough movies. I think I could do it. I have faith in me. I have confidence in confidence alone. And as what you see, I have confidence in me. Did I mention Miss Congeniality was on? Because really, Sandra Bullock, what the f? So I have to say about that. Um, so Van Gogh wants to talk to you guys for a bit. I'm going to let him take over. Hi, guys. Hi, I'm Vincent Van Gogh. It was suspected that I was gay when I was still alive, and I lived in France with my brother, and I was a very disturbed man. Very disturbed. Almost as disturbed as I am making this video to you. Oh, my God. Uh, poor Vincent. That guy just has so many problems. It is unbelievable. 
I don't know what I'm going to do when I have to live alone eventually. I mean, I'm just going to end up making videos of Van Gogh all the time. He's going to be sitting here narrating his life. We'll be drinking tea. And people, will, I will never get a job, I'm sure. No, I'm just kidding. I would never actually do that. If I was going to have tea with any puppet, it would be Lemony Snicket. Like I tell people, I do anyways. Although I tell them that I have tea with a real person and not a puppet version. Sean always, not always, but I, um, I think it was Sean who said something about Lemony Snicket being a woman. And I'm just like, what? A woman? It's obvious that he never read the last book because his wife or something um, is supposed to have had a baby or something, as far as I remember, in the last book. So, you know. I'm really upset that none of these special effects things are working on mine like they were working on yours. I mean, I'm jealous. I wish that something fun would happen. Unfortunately. My my webcam is not as advanced as one would like. It says I have to upgrade my Cyberlink webcam. Whatever that means. Oh, computers. Sometimes I look at my jaw and I think, hey, I have a jaw like Jan <laughs> Daniel. Daniel Day-Lewis. Only not really, because I'm not Daniel Day-Lewis, I'm not a man. And I'm not nearly as gorgeous as he is. But his jaw is very boxy. And sometimes my jaw can be boxy with my gorgeous. It's not really boxy so much as a rounded. But sometimes the angle of my jaw makes it look very boxy. Although I have a uh, very heart-shaped face. It's true. It's true. Well, this is about it. Seven whole minutes. I'm three minutes short of your guys'. I'll try to improve next time. But I think I'm going to go watch Miss Congeniality and finish my pointillism. Maybe finish my Alien for Astronomy, but I don't really feel like looking at it. It's kind of ugly. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys at school. Say bye, Bingo. Bye, guys! Wow! <laughs> I really hope that if I ever have an employer, they never see this video because it's just a little scary. Alright, well, see ya!